and welcome to Eileen Who Got Yoga. And today is day 30, celebrating life. <laughs> it's still part of the 30 day yoga for a better life challenge. And today, no crazy poses. We're gonna go to a flow we're in We'll just move around and I will put in all my, most of my favorite poses into the practice and I'll be sharing that to you guys. So hop on the mat and join me to celebrate life. Let's come first onto your seated pose. So if you're already there, you can use a block or pillow under your hips like what we've been doing on the previous practice if that feels better for you. And you can rest your hands on top of your knees, palms up or down, whatever feels good. And today, let's start the practice by breathing. Cleansing breaths, inhale through your nose. You can close your eyes if that feels good for you. Exhale with your mouth open. Inhale through your nose. Exhale with your mouth open. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale with your mouth open. And then from here, just start to breathe, allowing your belly to rise, ribs to ribs and then chest. Exhale, chest goes down, ribs goes in, belly relaxes. And, do, and then just continue to breathe. If you're aware of the mindful breathing that we did previously, start to practice that one. Counting the number of your breath, and then maybe you can focus on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So we blink your eyes open. We're gonna come to your child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Sit down on your heels, hips back. Rock your body side to side. Relax the head down. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, exhale, okay, slowly coming back to tabletop position, spread the fingers, inhale, head up, exhale, rounding your back into child's pose, I like doing this. Inhale, shifting my body forward. Exhale, grounding my back into child's pose. Inhale, shifting my body forward, arching my back. Exhale, rounding your back into child's pose. Let's go the opposite. Round your back into tabletop. Broaden the collarbone, squeeze into the armpit. Exhale, arch your back into child's pose. Rounding your back as you shift your body forward. Broaden the collarbone, squeeze into the armpit. And then exhale, arch your back into child's pose. Rounding your back. And then this time with control, let's belly all the way down. On an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift the chest to baby cobra. Exhale, come back down. One more. Squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the elbows, lift the chest. Push back up into child's pose. 
and then let's come to your downward facing dog in downward facing dog let's pedal our feet right and left swing your hips side to side stretching the body breathe Okay. From here, we're going to come back to your tabletop position, hands down. Spread the fingers. Let's bring the right hand up towards the ceiling. Thread your hand through. Bring the ear down. Push the floor. Right hand up. Exhale. Thread your hand through. Bring your ear down. One more. Push the floor. Right hand up. Exhale, thread your hand through, bring your ear down. And then from here, let's just fix the body first. Okay, make sure you're pressing the shoulder down towards the mat. Reach your left hand up, wrap it around, find that right hip, and then step the left foot back. Try to find your balance. Can you do an internal rotation for your left leg? And then try to see if you can float that left leg. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, I know. Exhale, if you fall, it's okay. One more, slowly bring that left knee down. Left hand up. Left hand in front of your face, push the floor. Right hand up. Right hand down towards the mat. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Thread your hand through. Bring your ear down. Push the floor, left hand up. Feeling tight today. Exhale, thread your hand through, bring your ear down. Push the floor, left hand up. Exhale, thread your hand through, bring your ear down. And then from here, right hand up, wrap it around. You need to adjust first. And then step the right foot back. Internally rotate your right leg. And then start to float that right leg. Find your balance. Breathe for three. Two, one, and slowly bring your knee down, right hand in front of your face, push the floor, left hand up, left hand down towards the mat. Okay, from there, point your toes, you're going to slowly lift the knees up, slowly sit back on your heels into child's pose, and then walk your hands forward as you tuck your toes, walk backwards. You're going to sit down on your heels into your like malasana. Open your knees. Push your knees out. Lift the chest. Right hand down towards the floor. Left hand up. Left hand down towards the floor. Push your knee out. Right hand up. Twist open. Hand down towards the floor. Walk your feet in. And then start to bend your knees right and left. Right and left. Drop the head. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. Let's bend the right knee, right hand down towards the floor, in front of your face, middle of your mat. Circle the left arm, try to shift your weight towards your toes. Feel the difference, shift back and shift forward. I like more weight towards my toes. Lift up, one more, circle it around, circle your left arm. Okay, we'll do the other side, left hand down, bend the left knee, circle the right arm. If you cannot reach for the floor, you can use a block anytime. One, two, and three, slowly. Inhale, hands to your knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, hands up. On an exhale, let's interlace our fingers. Roll the shoulder blades, lift the chest. Exhale, bend our knees, hands over. Slowly let go, bend the right knee, right hand down, circle the left arm. Switch, bend the left knee, circle the right arm. Inhale, hands to your knees. Exhale, open your feet, back to your malasana, elbows inside the knees. Lift the chest, hands down, let's start to practice Vakasana. Shifting our body forward, float it. Slowly coming back, right arm down towards the side, left hand up, wrap it around your back. Lift the chest. And then slowly switch, left hand down, right hand up. 
Turn, wrap it around. Oh, find a bind. Holding yourself up. Try to retract your shoulders. Feel what happens when you retract the shoulders. Okay, hands down towards the mat. Walk forward. Bring your knees down. And then let's step the right foot back. Spin the left foot, circle the right arm. Reaching back. Let's do this three times. Reaching up. Lifting your hips up and your chest. One more. And then from here, right knee down. Spin the right foot, circle the left arm. One. Let's do this three times. Two. And three. Okay, from there, you're going to slowly bring your knees down, hips back into child's pose. Shifting our body forward with control, belly all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest. Push back, child's pose. And then arching your back as we shift our body forward. Rounding your back, lifting the knees, push your hips back, child's pose. Tuck your toes, walk your hands back, hips back into your malasana. Open your knees, lift the chest, right arm out to the side, left hand up. Wrap it around if you find your bind. Switching to the other side, left hand down. Wrap it around, find your bind. Lift the chest. And then bring your hands down, Bakasana. Oops. Slowly bring your feet down. And then slowly walk your feet in. Bend the right knee, circle the left arm. Bend the left knee, circle the right arm. And then from here, inhale, hands to your knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, hands up. Grab onto your right wrist, pull it up, bring it to the left side. Inhale, back to center, grab onto your left wrist, pull it up, hips to the left, arms towards the right. Inhale, back to center, exhale, interlace your fingers, roll the shoulder blades, lift the chest, exhale, bend your knees, hands over the head. Bend the right knee, right hand down, circle the left arm one time. Switch, bend the left knee, circle the right arm one time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open your feet. Good, we're going to come to Bakasana. And then slowly come back down, right arm to the side. Let's just passing through all the poses. Wrap it around, find your bind, lift the chest. Feel the stretch on your hip, on your shoulder. Other side. Left arm, thumbs down, wrap it around, find the other hand. If it's accessible, if not, don't force it, just do a half bind. And then slowly walk your hands forward. One time, we're gonna step the right foot back, right arm. This time, grab onto your right foot, kick back, lift the chest, slowly let go. Switching to the other side. Circle the left arm. Lift the left leg up, grab onto your foot, kick back, chest up. And then slowly bring your hand down towards the floor. Knee down, child's pose. Take a couple of breaths in your child's pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We'll do that same version, but this time with down dog and plank and chaturanga. Start from downward facing top. Shift your body forward. Let's come to your chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. And then from here, did I do again? <laughs> okay, from here, you're gonna slowly bring your knees down. Lift the knees up, and from there, knees down, tuck your toes, walk your hands back, Malasana. Okay, from Malasana, you're going to come to Bakasana. From Bakasana, we're going to come to your bind, right arm, wrap it around. 
right leg, sorry. And then switch left. Wrap your arms towards your left, le left leg. Uh, and then from here, slowly come back up. Bend the right knee, circle. One time only. Bend the left knee, circle. And then from there, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Grab onto your right wrist, pull it up. Bring it to the left side, push your hips to the right. Inhale, back to center, grab onto your left wrist, pull it up. Bring it to the right side. Inhale, back to center. On an exhale, interlace, roll the shoulder blades. Bend your knees, hands over your head, chest up. Uh, chest down, hands up. <laughs> bend the right knee, circle the left arm one time. Switch, bend the left knee, circle the right arm one time. Open the feet, coming to Malasana. Then Bakasana, hands down, shift forward. Pull. Pull. Okay. And then slowly bring your feet down. Right arm to the side, wrap it around. Switching to the other side, wrap your arms towards your left leg. Okay, from here, slowly walk your hands forward, coming to your plank this time. Spinning the left leg, dropping your foot, coming into your wild thing. And then switching, dropping your left foot, coming into your wild thing, lifting the hips up. This is one of my favorite poses. And then from here, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, lift the right leg up, shifting your poses, open the right hip to the right side, heel to buttocks, right foot in between your hands, coming into high crescent lunge, oops, hands up, <laughs> that's a stable face there, arms out, warrior two, bend your knee in your warrior two, remember the root to rise, so try to root, and then rise for your word two. Okay, let's come to your side angle. Right hand down, left hand. Reach back. Reverse. Oh, not rooting to rise. Triangle, right hand down. Left hand up. Wrap it around your back. You can do a bind here. Lifting chest. Bending your knee, pushing your hips more towards the left side of your neck. Okay, from there, you're going to slowly let go, coming to your surfer's lunge. It's one of my favorite poses. Feel the stretch on your ankles, hips, inner thighs. You can sit down. And then carefully bring the right arm down. Wrap her. Bring your left hand over your head. Maybe you can grab onto your foot. Breathe. Okay, slowly come back up. And then float back to warrior three. Lift the chest. Okay, from there, hands down. Kick the right leg back. Three legged dog. Your choice to three-legged chaturanga or just a regular chaturanga and bring your knees down as well. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the left side, left leg up. Open the left hip to the left side, heel to buttocks. Left foot in between your hands. High crescent lunge, you can move your right foot just a little bit more balanced. And then slowly adjust into your warrior to root to rise. Root first before you lift up. Okay, from there, side angle, left hand down, right hand over your head. And then reverse warrior, bending your knee, right arm reach back. Left hand reach back. Triangle, left hand down. Right arm up, wrap it around your back. 
you can bend your left knee if it's possible for you to come to a full bind but just try to make sure you're bending your knee and pushing your hips towards the right side of your mat okay from there slowly surfers lunge Ooh. and then you can slowly sit down on your hips come into your revolved side bend i don't know what they call this pose so keep the right knee up grab onto your foot if it's possible and feel the stretch on the right side of the body Okay, come back up. With control, you're going to lift the hips. And then, we're going to slowly come up to warrior three. Lift the chest. And then from here, hands down. Kick the left leg back. Three-legged dog, shift forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Knees down. Child's pose. Option here for last pose for me is a headstand. If you are not yet able, to come to a headstand, I would suggest you come into a dolphin. So this is dolphin. If you don't have a headstand practice, make sure. I still haven't done a headstand, um, what do you call this, Ch tutorial yet. So if you do not have a headstand practice, Please come into Dolphin. I would suggest this. Try to avoid injuries nowadays. Any trips to the hospital is not a... Unnecessary trips to the hospital is not a good idea right now. Okay. So, headstand. Okay. Interlacing my finger. Pulling my... Bring my head down. Pushing away extra. Floating. Breathe. And child's pose. You can hold your head stand for as long as you want. I already did my walk, so. That's a good enough practice for me. And then when you're done, you can we will lie down. It's a good sweat. <laughs> okay, lie down. And arms out. Swing your knees right and left. Right and left. Stretching the front of your hips and staying down towards the left side, allowing your right hip to open up, uh, to lift up from the floor so that you feel a lot of the stretch at the front of your hip and push your knee down to the floor. And then start to feel the body relax. I'm sure your sweat would start to come out more. Just like a cool down. And then slow down the breath. Find spaces in the body that's still um, in that yang. That statement. I'm thinking of the right English word for it. Yang form? No, not form. Yang, no, yang energy. Okay, I'm out of words. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in the relaxed state already. 
Yang steak. See? <laughs> I need to take time for my brain to work. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Swing your knees to the right side, allowing your left buttocks to lift up. Pressing your left knee down as close as it can get towards the floor so you feel a little bit extra stretch towards the front of your left hip. And breathe. Back to center, moving my hips a little to the right side, crossing my right knee on top of my left knee, right arm to the side, swinging my knees towards the left side. Doesn't need my knee doesn't need to go all the way down to the floor. What's important is that you're able to keep your right shoulder and look at your um, press the right shoulder more towards the floor. If your neck is cannot look at your right hand, then just look at the ceiling really depends on how you feel. Feels a lot of stretch towards the outer hip. And then try to feel the difference when you arch your back. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Moving my hips to the left side of the mat. Swing your knees to the right, left arm. Doing a little bit of adjustment. It's a big stretch here. That's where I feel it. It depends on your body. On the back here. And a little bit of Core engagement, twist it. To your Shavasana, hands beside you. Take a deep breath here, staying here for a couple of breaths. Inhale. Exhale with your mouth open. Inhale through the nose. Exhale with your mouth open. One more time. Inhale through nose. Exhale with your mouth open. Start to relax the body. Take this moment to just feel your heart rate. The heartbeat. Heart rate. Heartbeat. <laughs> and Feel the life that is in you. Feel your breath. Feel the energy that surrounds you.
a deep breath here. Let's bring our feet together, arms over our head, stretch. Take your time to roll to your side body first. Any side, left side or right side. Then close your eyes here first. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Two more. One more breath. And then with slowly push yourself back up to sit. Crossing your legs. Coming to where we started in the practice. Palms in front of your heart. Grateful always for this life that I have, no matter where I am, it's where I should be at this time. Thank you for sharing your energy and for joining me in my journey of 30 days for practicing yoga to have a better life. Namaste. How are you guys? <laughs> That's it. That's the 30 day yoga for a better life. Today is the last day. Um, you can do this consecutively if that works for you. If it doesn't like how I did it, um, there are days that I took a day off. But I did finish 30 days of practicing yoga. Don't worry guys, you don't have to do the hard poses or the hard sequences in the practice. If you're having a hard time following one video, you can go back to, you can choose any of the video and just for as long as you finish 30 days, it doesn't matter. That's, you always have to practice kindness and compassion first to yourself and don't beat yourself up, you know. So have a good day everyone. I hope you are doing well and staying safe as always. And see you again next time. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out more yoga videos and follow me in my Facebook and Instagram.